Hey everyone, American football is back in Europe. Yes, the European League of Football will start in summer 2021. And I'm sitting here with two important men, Patrick Ezume, the commissioner of the series, and Kurt Paulus, who is the head of officiating. Well, hello guys. Hello. Thank you for your time. And first of all, I would like to ask you to introduce yourselves quickly, even though Patrick, I'm sure most people know who you are. Well, I'll let the important guys start off first, so Kurt hit it. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah, my name is Kurt Paulus, and uh, I'm a long time American football guy. And uh, I started as uh, a lot of guys started in the 80s when uh, Joe Montana threw passes to Dwight Clark and later <laughs> Steve Young to Jerry Rice. And then in the 90s, uh, I saw Patrick winning the Euro Bowl in Stuttgart. And um, my son started to play American football in uh, Stuttgart with the Scorpions junior team. And um, when uh, one day the saying goes, volunteers in front, and I didn't step back fast enough, suddenly I was president of the Stuttgart Scorpions. So, and uh, that was in 2004. And um, I also was uh, active as a game official for 12 years. And um, the last few years, I enjoyed American football in the stadium with some GFL games and as now the NFL with Patrick um, on the TV and sometimes in Wembley Stadium when the NFL played the Wembley games. So that's my short football history. Well, very impressive. Really two great experts sitting here with me digitally. Um, coming coming to the new European series, um, is the whole NFL rule set going to be adapted or will there be only specific rules? Yeah, in principle, we will adapt the whole rule set of the NFL, I think, uh, with uh, two exceptions. Exception one is the overtime rules. Patrick and I agree that these rules aren't really fair. And uh, that's why we will play the college overtime rules known as the Kansas City tiebreaker. And uh, I think that's a fairer competition for the teams. And uh, the other exception is um, the red flag challenge, the coaches challenge, because um, especially in the first season, we won't have like the NFL 14 cameras and different angles. And uh, so it's it's not possible to review uh, like the NFL did the instant review or, or does the instant review. So I think that's the two main differences between the European League of Football rules and the NFL rules. Patrick? So to add? Well, uh, uh, Kurt said it, said it perfectly. Um, uh, those are the two exception, exceptions, obviously. And, and, and the reason for us playing uh, with the NFL rules are obviously um, because we want to make the game more exciting for the fans. Um, and, and, and the NFL game is more exciting for the simple reason, for example, down by contact rules and and Kurt is a former referee, so he can get in all to the to all details. Um, but it's obviously more exciting if a player catches a pass, is down with a knee, or even with his butt or elbow. But as long as he's not touched, he can get back up and run. So we try to create more excitement, um, more big plays, more scoring for the fans, and 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 also another reason for us to play with uh, or by the NFL rules is obviously that we want to uh, have a tight alliance to the NFL down the road. And But like Kurt said, 
uh, we don't like the time breaker where you flip a coin and if the offense is hot, then you, uh, can I say shit out of luck? Yes, I guess I can say you shit out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. And excitement is what us, the fans, really want to see on the field. So how many referees uh, are we going to have per game? Same as an NFL? Yes, for sure. We will have seven uh, officials and um, it's the same as the NFL has. Okay, and where will they come from? Yeah, I think we will get referees from... <clears throat> all the countries uh, where our teams will play and uh, so from spain to poland and um, i think uh, there will be our referees from and are american referees going to be allowed as well or only homegrown refs uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think uh, because um, we have uh, seen some interest uh, from American refs who already uh, are game officials uh, for uh, high schools uh, here in Germany, as example, and uh, they are welcome too. Okay. And, Because uh, the, high, the high schools uh, play tournament in Germany, American football, and... Uh, so they they have experienced refs and uh, why not and how can it be guaranteed that the professional lef level of the refer uh, referees uh no how can how can sorry how can it be guaranteed that the quality of each referee is going to be on a professional level well <laughs> that's a that's good question fun. that's gonna be his job <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we will do, I think, uh, some things different than um, they were done in uh, American football in Europe because um, we have um, more training, more education and more monitoring. So we will have, uh, for example, peer review of the games. So. Uh, one referee will look at uh, the decisions the other referee has made during the game and uh, we will talk about that and uh, we will improve uh, the decision making and uh, it's uh, for sure it's uh, a thing of uh, uh, like a, an old football coach said it's a marathon not a sprint. Yeah. <laughs> so, um but we but we will try to improve and, and uh, oh, sorry yeah you weren't finished no so i'm finished i'm finished so important question if i would like to become a referee how can this be happening or anyone else who's watching? okay to be honest uh, that will be difficult at the moment because um um You Come need... on, Kurt, don't be, don't be like that. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, don't heart, no? I think uh, for the first season, we need referees with experience. So <laughs> we, I think uh, I, you don't have a chance to be a referee in the first season of the ELF. So, no, um, but that. with a few years of experience, um, maybe it's possible. So I speak to you maybe, in about five years. Maybe I'm going to add a little something uh, uh, to this topic. Now, obviously, if there are interested referees or officials out there, uh, go to our website. There's going to be a contact from uh, from our head of officiating, officiating called Paulos. Contact him if you've been an official before, because obviously we want young, energetic, new officials to come into our league. Um, And, and going back to the question about American or, or non-European officials, you know, um, I worked for the NFL for seven years in NFL Europe, and, and there was a point in time where every single referee in the NFL came through NFL Europe. So the NFL Europe League was a great developmental league when it comes to officiating, not only for playing, but also for officiating for the NFL. Us playing by NFL rules, 
hopefully it's going to get us to the point one day where the NFL sees the European League of Football as a developmental tool, not only for their players, but also for their officials and, and, and other personnel and staff. So uh, we are very open to, to actually having non-European officials. And, and we are European League. We try to make this uh, a more open and wider league as far as our approach, be more international not so much focused on one market only. And, and if there's an interest, what we hope and strive, strive for in the future, then we will certainly be open to have referees from, from all different countries and parts of the world in our league. So will there be tryouts for referees? Yes, we, we will have tryouts for referees uh, in the spring. And... Um... Uh, then the next step is uh, education and especially the, the differences in rules. And um, we will have practice on the jobs because uh, we will send the referees uh, to the teams during the practice camps so they have the chance to officiate a scrimmage and uh, can adapt the rules before they have to officiate a real game. So there will be a real training for them as well before the season yes, starts? Yes, yes. That, okay. will, that will be, yeah. Patrick, anything else you would like to add? No, not really. I mean, uh, Kurt said it perfectly. That's why I, I stayed quiet and listened to him because we are very happy. Or I, me as a commissioner and also Sherko Karajca, CEO, we are very excited to have uh, a guy like Kurt on board because he, he has experience in multiple fields, on the field as a, as a referee and behind the scenes as a president of a club team, which obviously uh, broadens the view as a, as a head of officiating because he understands both sides of the story. You know, when you're only an official and you've never worked with the team, it's tough sometimes to understand the emotions uh, that can occur on the sideline. I know Kurt has been on both sides, so so that's going to make it easy. And you know, even though he looks like he's my age, he uh, he's retired. He's got a time. <laughs> and he's still got a juice. Thank you very much. much. So so we are happy to have him. So, <laughs> thank you. So we are all happy to have you both on board. So thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Kurt, for this uh, interview for answering so many questions. And thanks to everyone. Thanks, guys, for watching. Well, stay tuned to watch the top European teams playing American football from summer 2021. And we see you soon. See you. Bye-bye.